What is teaching? Teaching is um, like communication, uh, except unlike communication, it's for um, the giving of information for the long term, um, except for the short term. Um, or unlike the short term. Maybe. So I communication is that exchange of information for the short, short term, um, but teaching <clears throat> is that it's giving like the information glitching. for the purpose of having it for the long term. Do you want to check it really quick? Hopefully no. you're alive. Okay. It's glitching because of the recording, I think. It's recording a what recording. What is learning? So it's having an issue. Learning is um, like listening this is be except shitty. unlike listening it is points. listening so it um, for yeah. the absorption okay. of the information all this sound for the purpose the... of storing long term wise <laughs> hopefully the rest of your life um listening is more for that present moment <laughs> what's going on um i don't think in so the present, like, you see those, like, and learning is for like, on Facebook video and stuff, uh, and that knowledge that needs to last i don't think yeah, I'm just thinking about Did the teaching and learning take program, place at the same you time. You can capture your screen and talk at the same time. I definitely think mm -hmm. the teaching and learning can take place at the same time, and mm -hmm. they often do. Like so, as like a teacher, a teacher teaching a class, a teacher, you are learning the last, what literally methods the last minute, uh, are best for the students to absorb he, he, what you're no, teaching he, them. He you back. Um, no, he did not. Oh. You observe he and do trial and error. Too. You eventually learn um, ways and methods of teaching that are more effective than others. Um, I think also that learning and teaching take place at the same time in that um, to me, if you ask a student so to annoying. teach <laughs> another student something yeah. they've recently learned that <laughs> like, humidifies like, that information into their mind so um, a lot like more easily see. than like if I just it going too much, over it, it doing sound some worksheets. Right, natural. Uh, it's another but form it's of revisitation. Is so um, that allows them to like not extremely really absorb that I'm like information to because myself, they like, have to give um, it to somebody. That exchange like um, that, more keeps like that information fresh, um, um, more easily accessible more like when they need to retrieve that like, information yeah, later on. Fucking wrong word. So hard, so many times, and I was like, "How? What is the purpose of I'm teaching an English and learning? How am I using the wrong words?" Mm -hmm. Right. The purpose of teaching is um, the only. I, to, the only thing I would say know, is like your utterances, information, and knowledge like super pronounced for the and, long like, term. I haven't noticed that because I like um, I have the same problem. And I've always the gotten purpose of learning is for, like, to any, take in that information um, and knowledge <clears throat> for the long term. The purpose no, of teaching and learning all together <laughs> in and of itself, I think, is, um, <laughs> Yeah, like, for any presentation I've done, I've always thought that, like, knowledge. my utterances are very So, when you think about the stuff, preservation of knowledge, and it's just we usually like think along the lines of, um, yeah. like, but storing I like, uh, it's like a PowerPoint on a thumb drive, drive you know, or, so, like, you know, writing things but, down in books, or making a web page and a directory and but all this sort of stuff, or... Uh, physically question, accessing really information, that you're but um, what you're talking about, which, I think I mean, that it doesn't seem like when you're you teach and you learn that, that moment well, is the preservation of like, that information in people. You can preserve that information in writing and, and technology so as much as you'd like, but it's very so important much, that that knowledge like, is preserved within people's minds. Um, it's like, that yeah, way, they can it, but use like, it. I mean, that is the purpose of knowledge is so used. In so English, all the purpose like, of teaching and learning is the preservation it, it of knowledge well we as a people other, um, um, have acquired and, um, over thousands of years and I'll use it to from various uh, forms of English so it's uh, in the present moment and you have in the to future know a lot of English um, to follow me very quickly sometimes. Um, are a lot of ways that English. Speaks. What does effective to, like, teaching and learning know that, look like? To be able to follow me when I get into my rambling effective zone because teaching I'm just trying to connect like ideas as quickly as possible about my dumb speech. My brain makes me take long ways, which means will I use teach them antiquated turns of phrase. Uh, they are ready to <laughs> do as the teacher asks, English. even if they don't want to. Um, but they are 
I know I repeat the same word a lot of times, the lot of times in this, and I normally like to teach them myself about that. that. Mm-hmm. No, but I think because uh, it's supposed to sound natural, people, it. people tend to um, do that. Effective um, learning, especially when like they're put on the spot. Going. Like, um, they'll just keep they like coming back to a word because they used it once and it continues to work. I know, like, my master's level teachers will be um, like, don't do that. An effective but, teaching like, and learning my to describe it further, I think. Teachers, um, creative writing, creative video making teachers like, would be like, no, nah, it's uh, natural, it's art. That is yeah. working <laughs> efficiently, yeah. um, has movement of ideas uh, that great. flow freely. Yeah. Yes. Um, do you have a soda or something? A passion like for learning. Or something to drink. Not just oh, by the students, uh, but by the teacher, too. The, the teacher exhibits both the passion of teaching and learning at the same time, and the students exhibit that passion of learning. And when you have those elements in a classroom, I think that that is what effective teaching and learning looks like. What makes a good teacher? He's a good teacher. Um, well, I mean, we can think about our bad teachers, or we can think about our favorite teachers. Um, but I have a feeling that our favorite teachers were someone's bad teacher. And that I think a good teacher is a teacher who has learned to teach um, through adaptability. They have learned to be adaptable, um, how to be flexible, how to change um, their methods if it's needed. Um, they, they really want to listen to their students. They, they actually want to be there, even if the job is stressful. Um, I think a good teacher is a teacher that is happy to teach um, and enjoys teaching. What experiences have you had that have shaped your understanding of okay. teaching and it's learning? On the it's on the second to the last one. Experiences I've had that have shaped my understanding of teaching and learning. So, you know, I'll go back to those favorite teachers and bad teachers, but I won't go too deep into mine. So um, I won't go too deep into my And the experiences and I, I have had um, mm. yeah. with teaching I kind of like, been I could have edited recent. that out, but I didn't. And, um, as opposed to learning when I was a young child. But teaching, I find a lot of joy in. And, you know, at first when I started tutoring, I didn't think that uh, I could do it. Um, I thought that I would get too frustrated too easily. Uh, I'd become discouraged. It would be too overwhelming. Squinchy. And that's not to say it wasn't too <laughs> overwhelming at times. It's hilarious. Um, but <laughs> I know, what right? I learned was that teaching is uh-huh. so fulfilling it goes that it's okay. worth it. God, I'm like, you there's, not <laughs> there's not a lot of negative things that could happen in a school that would deter me from wanting to teach. Um, maybe there are plenty of things that could happen at a school that would deter me from wanting to teach at that school, but teaching in and of itself is so rewarding and satisfying that um, I feel I'm like drawn to it now that I've actually tried uh, teaching through the act of tutoring. Um, and learning, learning has been something that's always second nature to me. Um, as is for most kids, I think, even though I'm an adult now, I, I learned to uh, create that passion for learning as a young girl, and I think that it's very important to continue that passion throughout your life, um, because likewise how teaching is fulfilling, I've always found learning to be very fulfilling. The, um, Acquiring of knowledge, um, being able to see the world through different perspectives upon acquiring knowledge, um, you know, just opening the mind up to all the possibilities that exist, uh, or at least, you know, opening the mind up to what you have access to to learn, um, because there's, there's so much that 
you know, there's so much that no one person can learn everything, of course, but, um, you know, just the act of going out of your way to learn something is fulfilling. Um, similarly, as is going out of your way to teach. Do you see yourself as a teacher? Uh, as a learner? Why? How? And in what situations? I see myself as a teacher. I kind of always have. When I was very young, I decided I wanted to go into teaching. Um, a lot of my family members on my father's side are teachers. Um, and then, I starting out tutoring, I definitely see myself as a teacher. I enjoy it so very much. Thank you so um, much. But also, I, I was the biggest sister in the family, so uh, I had to watch my, my little sister. I had to um, take care of her. And a lot of that involved teaching her things. And so I guess you could say I was primed from a young age to be um, talented at teaching to some degree. <laughs> um, I'll not say that I'm a perfect teacher and I'm just naturally perfect. No, I think that you know, practice and experience makes one perfect, but I think that um, how, how I've started life and my life path has um, guided me towards being a teacher.